Well, uh, the relationship between the ANC and, and the broader voting masses is quite tense. And we have seen, of course, in the previous elections, uh, predictions that the ANC is going to lose uh, uh, significantly. I, I have no doubt in next year's elections that uh, there will be a drop on the margins when it comes to the support of the ANC. But some of those losses could be attributed to the national, uh, the natural development of politics where a governing party, a founding party will naturally lose in the margins of 2%, uh, 3% each and every election like it has been the case in, last, in, in the previous local government election where the ANC lost on the margins around 3%. The question that I think is quite significant and need to be dealt with carefully is whether the strength of the opposition in South Africa is such that it can push the ANC for significant loss on the margins or maybe to drop in what you would call your, 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 your two-digit loss, your 10 percent and so. I'm not convinced that the opposition has got such kind of a strength to be able to inflict such kind of loss at the ANC at the polls. But no doubt the ANC is going to lose. Is the loss going to be accounted for because of just the disgruntlement of the ANC or is going to be explained as the uh, opposition making inroads into the ANC's constituencies. I, I do not have much trust on the opposition's ability to actually inflict uh, a, a, a kind of as damage on the ANC's uh, stronghold in South Africa. I, I have not seen satisfactory evidence coming out showing that the opposition can do that. But there is no doubt there will be losses on the margin, 3%, 4%, that's going to happen. And is that loss going to translate into gain by the opposition? That's tend to be seen.